Hard to believe, but after almost five decades, Mel Shower's last regularly scheduled newscast will be Wednesday night. Mel's worked with a lot of folks over 50 years. News 5's Peter Albrecht has more. Well, from Bob Brazier to Bob Lowry to Bob Stewart, from Bill Jordan to Barbara Shaw, from Cynthia Williams to Kurt Fonger, Mel Showers has worked with hundreds of reporters and anchors here at WKRG. Tonight, Mel looks back on some of those relationships, and we hear from a few old friends. When you've been someplace for 50 years, You've no doubt worked with a lot of people. Five, four, three, two, one, don't touch that dial. And all those co-workers likely would have nothing but good things to say about Mel Showers and vice versa. Mel is especially fond of the morning news team he worked with from 1981 through 1990 with co-anchor Drexel Gilbert and Scott Hunter with sports. Oh, oh my goodness, Scott. You... You would not believe what a fun time we had with Scott. I look forward to showing up every day because it was just fun to do that show. You name it, he would joke to me about it. I mean, he would let me have it. Of course, they were professionals, and I didn't know what in the world I was doing. <laughs> in the case of Drexel, we had these split boxes. I would be in Mobile, and she would be in Pensacola, and we were acting as if we were right next to each other. We had so much fun, and... Many of the viewers, they let us know, they didn't want that serious approach to news in the morning that we, we started with when we were getting zero ratings. We'd come on and say, good morning, here's the news and it's not good. And <laughs> they didn't want that. They wanted to see some smiles on our faces while they're getting up in the morning, having to go to work, and they wanted to, you know, have some fun. That worked. That went skyrocketed our, our morning effort just uh, was unbelievable mel was moved to nights in 1990 where he teamed first with kelly jones kelly was my first night side co-anchor and very very talented she was an extreme talent it was always a joy and because mel is the most friendly and most easiest person to talk to he just radiates well-being and goodness and people watching him on the air they feel that too kathy king followed kelly jones hello everyone i'm mel shower and i'm devin walsh thanks for watching tonight and devin walsh began anchoring evenings with mel in 2000 and when devin moved to birmingham a couple of years later roseanne haven was selected to join mel following a nationwide search and when roseanne came in for her audition she was the last one she was by far <laughs> she stood out and I said that's the one right there and but it wasn't my decision to make but the people behind the scenes the consultants and what have you they'd already decided she was the one and I agree with them she was the one since 2002 Roseanne Alan Seals and Randy Patrick have teamed with Mel they are wonderful people oh they are so easy to work with and work for and they are so supportive and I've, I've been with Randy now for maybe 35 years. And Roseanne for 17, Alan for more than that. And it's just a good group. For more on Mel's great 50-year career, go to WKRG. Dot com. Mel, they were moving kind of quickly, but a lot of familiar faces there oh, at the yeah. beginning of that story. I tell you, it was good to see some of those faces. <laughs> we had some great times back in the day, especially in the morning. Oh, did we clown in the morning? <laughs> but it was fun, and uh, we're surrounded by a lot of professionals. And all with great love and admiration for you, for sure, Mel. And I love Absolutely. them back. <laughs> yes. We love you.